In this video, we are going to show you how to remove the MMI control module for the Audi A6 uh, 2006. Uh, the tools that you need to remove the module is the two hooks, which they are, you can buy them either from the Audi dealer or the Mercedes dealer. They have them too. This is made by Mercedes. And as you can see, the part number is 140589023300. You need two hooks to remove the vents, and then you need the 30 millimeter socket plus the angle the T25 screwdriver and the dashboard removal tool. Uh, you don't need that one, but it's good to have it, it would help. So, the first thing you do, you have to, and on the armrest, what you do, you need to remove the air conditioning vents by using those. Uh, hook, the two hooks, you put them one on each side, there is a little clip, once you insert, I'll show you, we already lose everything by the way, you have to insert the hook to the side of the vent, and then you pull the vent out, the, the vent does not have any screws, it just has the, it's a push in clip, so you just need to remove the vent. Once you remove the vent, you can see there is a 30 millimeter uh, bolt which holds the armrest. You remove that bolt and then you would be able to take the armrest out. And thus this is the bracket for the... Once you remove the armrest, there are two rubber mats underneath the armrest. You remove those two mats. You can see the screw underneath and then under the cup holder. There is another, uh, let me see, uh, another T25 screw. You remove that one also. And then you would be able to remove the uh, un under the armrest holder. Once you remove the armrest, you remove the ashtray and there are two more T20 for the screw underneath the ashtray. You remove those two and then you come to the side panel. You pop the cover for the T25 screw. You remove the screw and then you would be able to pop the panel out. This is a side panel. There is one on the passenger side. Then there is the one on the uh, driver side. The same procedure. Once you remove those two side panels, you just have to make it loose. You don't have to completely take it up. Then you would be able to see the screw in the front. There's a one screw here, and then there is another T20 for the screw here. And the same thing over there. There is a one screw on this side and one on the top. Once you remove those two, to get these two screws, by the way, you need to remove that angle screwdriver. Otherwise, it would be very hard to get to the screw with the straight screwdriver. So once you remove those screws, then you would be able to uh, partially remove the MMI, but before that one, uh, move the shifter to the neutral position and take the cover for the, the leather cover for the shifter out and once you get that one out you just pop it out there are no screws involved and then you would be able to pop the MMI module with the boot panel and that's it and the underneath there is a plug once you remove it completely you can just unplug it and then you can take the disassemble the MMI from the, the boot finishing. And that's about it. So if you need any repair for the MMI unit or even the navigation screen or the radio or the changer, you can send it to High Tech Electronic Services in Van Nuys, California. Thank you.